What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix the steam is having an issue with you know the rainbow six siege whenever you're trying to launch the game you end up in having the issue with battle i launch error failed to start the battle i service on a pc and how we can fix this app so this is happening for many users right now on while they're launching the game so the first one is all about we need to go over here so the first step is all about we need to uninstall and reinstall the battle eye to do so just go over here on the steam now go over here right click and go to manage browse local file now we have to expand this now go to the battle eye now from here you can see there is an option called first we need to uninstall the battle eye and we have to install it back so just go over here in the battle eye right click and go to run as administrator go for yes then we just need to wait for a little bit of time then we have to install the battle eye go over here right click and go to run it as an administrator and you have to check this time the battle eye will be installed back now we have to close this and check with the game or you can move to the step 2 that is uninstall the battle eye and then launch the game during the launch it will be reinstalling the battle eye so let me go over here once again right click on the game go to manage browse local file go to the battle eye folder click on uninstall battle eye right click and go to run run as administrator so now the battle is uninstalled now i have to close this and go over here launch the game while you launch the game what happened what happened is the battle eye will be installed back so while you launch the game the battle eye will be installed back then you have to check step three is all about we need to verify the game file so just go over here right click go to the properties go to install it file and there is an option to verify the game file so just click on this one this will take a lot of time because you know it is around 57 GB so it's going to cross check every single thing on a game so if any files are corrupted any files are missing we'll be having the issues such as this so make sure that you have to try this step as well step 4 is all about we need to allow the game to the window security or any third party antiviruses so for example if you're using third party antivirus like Komodo, Avast, AVG, MCAFE, Bitdefender then allow the game exe file to your antivirus program as well so to do so just go over here first we need to know where the game is installed so let me right click go to manage browse local file and if i check i can see the game is installed on d so i have to close this close this as well now from here navigate to the control panel now go to windows defender firewall go to allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change setting go to allow another app go to the browse navigate to this pc go to local disk e d steam library steam apps common now from here scroll down and navigate to Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Now from here you can see this is the application. Select this, go for open and add it. So it says it is already there. If I scroll down I can see the Rainbow Six Siege is already added. Now as you can see the rainbow six siege is already added. If you have to add it, make sure that you put a check on both the box private and public. Then you have to check. Next step is all about we need to update the windows and restart the PC. So just go over here search for the settings. Click on the settings. Go to windows update. Just update your windows and you have to check that might work. Or after that you can restart your PC. Then uninstall the game, delete the game folder and restart your PC and restart or reinstall the game to a new drive. So just go over here, right click and go to manage, uninstall the game. Then I have to go to the start, do a restart on the system. After the restart is successfully done, just go to the Steam and this time right now the game is on E. So either I have to try installing it on back on D or C. Then I have to check. So these are the steps when it comes to how to fix this. And I hope this quick video is helpful. See you soon next video. Peace out. Bye bye.